Good morning, Axon City. I'm Ashley. And I'm Chloe. And you're watching Max Heart Minute. Where are we today, Chloe? We're here at Brecky on the Run because the electricity company cut the power to our studio so we weren't able to operate the toaster in the break room. You'd think with us running a successful business reliant on electricity, then Axon Energy would give us some sort of prior notice, but no, they didn't. They didn't even send us an email or leave a note. Boom, no power all day. Thanks, guys. And that's why we're here at Ranveer Mall, eating what I must say is an absolutely delicious breakfast. Why is this place only open in the mornings? I could eat breakfast for lunch or even breakfast for dinner. Seems like a missed business opportunity. Indeed it, it does, Chloe. If you're sick of being forced to eat whatever is left over at a shared kitchen at work, then come on down to Brecky on the Run. And come in fast because there's, they're not open for long. These half-price breakfasts aren't gonna last. See you next time, everyone. Thanks for watching Max Heart Minute. Bye. What are we going to do about lunch? The caterers won't be able to cook anything without power. Oh, good point. I guess we'll have to order takeout or something. Power better be back on by the end of the day. If I can't lie in bed watching silly, silly videos on my laptop, I'm going to be very irritated. You won't be the only one. Fucking Axon Energy. Hey, Amber. Hey, cutie. You want to hang out again? Damn right I do. Hey, what's that dripping sound? Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it. Uh, where did you come from? I knew you two were secretly hanging out. I've had my suspicions, but now they've been confirmed. We weren't hanging out in secret. Yeah, we were spending time together, but it wasn't like where you were trying to hide it or anything. Re gets those stat boosts if she builds relationships with everyone, remember? Oh, I thought you two were up to something. Not really. Huh. Can I hang out with you girls today then? I'm super bored. There's nothing fun to do in this mansion by yourself. Sure, you can come. I don't see why not. Woohoo. So, where are we going? Uh, I haven't thought of that yet. Let's go camping. We already went camping. Oh. Sexy bubble bath at Ember's house? That too. Oh, I missed out on all the fun. Well, that changes today. We're gonna do something sexy and fun and all three of us are gonna... going to do it. What are we doing? Give me a minute. Naked jelly wrestling? No, buying the jelly is too expensive and you get all sticky afterwards. Oh, I know, I've got the perfect idea. Which is? I'm not telling, it's a surprise. Um... Holly? When are we going to get to that surprise you had? Uh, soon. We've been walking in circles for 45 minutes now, Holly. It hasn't been that long. There is no surprises there. No. Why did you tell us you had something super awesome planned then? I don't know, I thought I'd come up with something once we started walking. I was wrong. You two are always doing such cool stuff together and I wanted in. I didn't realize it'd be this hard to think of something to do. Oh, Holly. Well, we're not walking any further. My feet are killing me. How about we just get coffee at the terrarium? It's right near here. Sure. How are your feet killing you? Don't you have the ability to fly? Shh. Huh. Something wrong with your coffee? No, no, it's good. I just thought that this was the place that put parasols in your coffee, but I must be thinking of somewhere else. Parasols in your coffee? Yeah, Max bought them for, for everyone back when she did the coffee run at the police station. I swore she said she got them from here. Oh yeah, I remember that. The parasols were really stupid, but that was surprisingly good coffee. Mine had lumps of chocolate floating in it. Is that a good thing? Absolutely. Chocolate makes everything better. One day I'll find that mythical parasol coffee store. One day. Oh, I got you a gift, Holly, for washing my house the other week. It's a cat collar. Give it to me. That, that sounds adorable. Whoa, it's so cute. So you like it? Damn right I do. If I wore this a few years ago, people would think I'm weird, but now I got cat ears, it's totally appropriate. People might still think you're weird, just a warning. 
like I care. Thanks, Ember. I love it. Glad to hear it. I wonder if I bought a parasol and put it in my coffee, would it make it taste better? I highly doubt it. Today was fun, but next time the three of us are going to do something awesome. I'm going to make a list this time and it shall be amazing. <laughs> what? Bye, Holly. Holly is making a list. She must be serious. I'm pretty sure she's just jealous of all the time we've been spending together. I know this might be kind of personal, but did you and Holly ever... Once, but it was weird, and it made working together really uncomfortable afterwards, so we both decided to just leave it at that. It was a mutual decision. Might not have been as mutual as you think. Hey Bree, is your Wi-Fi working? Nope, I'm not getting any signal. Great, the freaking internet is down again. How am I supposed to watch silly internet videos all night now? Chuck the TV on, maybe there's something good on. I highly doubt that. Ooh, allow me to step in. Brad's got a cable box at his place, and using my electricity powers, I was able to fry the inhibitor chip that stops you from getting all the channels. I could do that here, and we could watch all sorts of weird international channels. Maybe some live sports if you felt like it. I don't know, Max. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Relax, I'm a lightning elemental. Stuff like this is my specialty. Hmm. All the leads are going into this chip, so... Oh no. Oh, for fuck's sake. So you're experiencing some electrical trouble? N Matt? Are you going to strut stutter every time you see me, Bree? Sorry. I'm just messing with you. What seems to be the problem? Shouldn't it be obvious all the lights are off? Fair point. Where's your fuse box? I think Max said it was next to the naked mermaid statue. Wow, that is one busty mermaid. I don't think it came with the mansion. I'm pretty sure Lori had it put in. Alrighty, here we go. Ah, I see your problem. See the switch here, Brie? This is called a safety switch. Just gotta flip it the other way and... Your power is back on. Too easy. What? Max said she already checked the safety switch. I'm beginning to doubt her so-called electrical expertise. Sorry, Matt. Hey, don't apologize to me. A job's a job. My life would be a whole lot easier if they were all this quick. Yeah, but it's the middle of the night. You've, you've got a life to live. Nah, I stay home in the evenings. Don't worry. The only thing you've interrupted me from is a non-stop marathon about people living in storage lockers. Oh, that might be something worth watching tonight. Here, take my business card. If you got any more electrical trouble, give me a ring on my personal line. But you might want to check your fuse box first. Callouts aren't cheap. Later, Brie. Bye, Matt. Hmm, not spending the evening with Camille, huh? That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe things aren't as great as they're letting on. Very interesting. Hey, Amber. Finally, I've been waiting for ages now. I thought you'd never turn up. Holly's been bugging me every day since we last hung out. Non-stop harassment. So I was excited. I take it you came up with a fun idea then? You bet I did. Check these out. What are they, little tiny frisbees? They're game tokens for the boardwalk. They let you play those silly games at the boardwalk for free. The newspaper was doing this giveaway where you get one free game token with every newspaper you purchase, so I went behind the news agents and fished out all the unsold papers. Ew. Don't worry, I washed them once I got home. They're fine now, but don't sniff them. Oh god, what is that? I just told you not to sniff them. <laughs> Why would you immediately go and do the one thing I told you not to? That's just wrong, Holly. With this many tokens, we should be able to play every game on the board walk at least twice. I'm not going home until someone's won me a Rastafarian banana. I haven't played those arcade games since I was in primary school. My dad once spent $40 trying to win me a goldfish I really liked, but he couldn't get enough points on the clown game. Sometimes I still dream of Mr. Bubbly and what it could have been. Mr. Bubbly? <laughs> he was the goldfish I didn't win. Dad bought me another one from the store, but it wasn't the same. I remember crying a lot at the time. You cried over a goldfish? That's pretty embarrassing, Brie. I was like six years old. Six-year-olds cry all the time. I didn't. Me neither. Oh. <laughs> you know what, Brie? I'm gonna win you that goldfish. 
Not if I win one first. Look out, Mr. Blubby. Here I come. <laughs> oh no, you don't. That goldfish is mine. Wait, please don't win me one. If I get a pet goldfish, j will just eat him. He loves seafood. I caught him in the pantry eating all the smoked salmon ones. It was savage. There was lumps of stinky fish everywhere. Come back, I don't want a goldfish death on my hands. Why, hello there ladies. Care to try your luck on Jake's Midway Madness? All the games are only $5 per attempt, or 3 for $10. Actually, we got a bunch of coupons for free games we get to play for free. God damn it, I never should have agreed to that stupid promotion. All week I've been getting flooded with stingy bastards wanting free games. It's non-stop. How many tokens you got? 84. Fucking hell, just play by yourselves and call me over if you win something. I don't even fucking care anymore. I feel kind of bad now. Don't. These games are rigged. Everyone knows that. We probably still won't win very much, even with 84 free games up our sleeves. Oh what? I didn't see a goldfish game anywhere. Don't tell me they got rid of it. There's lots of animal cruelty laws nowadays. They don't give away free animals like they used to. Good, I don't want a goldfish anymore anyways. It's not like goldfish are that fun. They just swim around and do nothing all day. Yo, that sounds like the... Perfect life. <laughs> the string toss game looks fun. How about we start with that? Hoop throwing, hoop throwing is lame and incredibly unfair. Even with a bunch of free tokens, we'd still have to get super lucky to win anything. Isn't everything impossible to win? That's the whole point of these places like this, to scam money off of gullible tourists. Not everything is impossible. Some games are just monstrously difficult. How is that any different? See that sand just over there? That's the game we'll be playing. Oh ho ho, now we're talking. Cowboy shootout with the little cork guns. How about we let Brie go first? Um, okay, I guess I can give this a shot. Ha, take this. Oh, whoops. Shoot the target, Brie, not me. My hand slipped, sorry. Oh, there you go, I got a point. Congratulations, Brie, you scored a total of one point out of a possible 250. <laughs> Everyone knows it's impossible to hit the bullseye. It's super small and moves around way too quick. No one can hit it five times. No one? Hit it even once and I'll buy you two lunch. That's how confident I am that it's impossible. Looks like I'm getting a free rent lunch. You ready, Ember? I was born ready. You can amp up yourselves all you want, but there's still no way you're... Oh, you hit it. Oh, well, that, that one was a fluke. Good luck hitting it at... How are you two so good at this? <laughs> We're trained police officers, Bree. We do this every day. How many people have you shot? You're crazy good at this. What do you reckon? About 200 or so. Yeah, something around that number. Why so many? That's nuts. Well, most of them were bad guys. We only occasionally shot a civilian. <laughs> Plus, they're stun guns, Bree. Neither of us have killed anyone. No, you just delivered thousands of volts of electricity to their spine. That totally makes it okay. Ha, huh, perfect score. Same here, what do we win? According to the scorecard, you two win a $5 shipping drink voucher. <laughs> Scammed. Uh, that's not a very good prize for a perfect score. No, it's not. I guess we've got to play the stupid luck based things if you want to win a giant plushie. You've got enough plushies at your house already, Holly. You don't need any more. I can never have too many. Does Holly ever calm down? Nope. She sure is carefree. I thought she might still be hung up on you after you hooked up, but she's certainly not showing it. Like I said, it was a weird set of circumstances. We both agreed to move past it. It hasn't impacted our work relationship much. It's a shame. You two would have made a cute couple. Eh, I can think of someone cuter. Um, Aluna? Yeah, Brie? Is it just me, or is the ground shaking? It's not just you, Brie. Something big is coming. 
Oh my god, what the hell is that? Everyone, defensive positions were under attack. <laughs> Whoa, this is a oh my. I thought they all died out years ago. Bunny yip. Watch out for its teeth. They okay. will mess you up big what, time. What, what, what are you? Oh, okay. Uh, we hit big boy first. Oh, wait, are you resistant to water? Whatever you do, nah, it does normal damage. She has a lot of mana. You can just nuke it, I guess. Actually, we can save so we can just do normal damage on the smaller guys. Oh, we feel Holly before this poison is going to regret that. That hits. You've been poisoned, Max. Keep that health up. Honestly, the play is to just keep Max alive and spam her abilities. I did not mean to hit that one. Oops. Uh, let's just. Not this poison shit. Ember, you've been poisoned. Mm, Ember's a tough gal. This boy is so tanky. How much HP do you have, man? Try using electric oh, moves six, with eight, this enemy. Nine. I probably don't need to, but. Let's just do this anyways. Cheers. <laughs> Ember, you've been poisoned. Hmm, it's fine. Hopefully this one's the last one. Nope. <laughs> The little dudes are gone. That's good. Thanks, guys. Burn. That wasn't so bad, I guess. Where did the bunyip go? He's retreated, as have his offspring, which is a good thing, really. I'd have felt really guilty if he'd murdered an important piece of Australian folklore. I guess the babies were kind of cute in this terrifying sort of way. With that, the swamp is cleared. Nice work, everyone. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Yay. I take it we're going into this big spooky cave now? No, the cave can wait. Demetrius might have a map of the area, but I'd like to have a backup plan ready just in case it all turns out to be a load of bullshit. That bunyip damaged some of my equipment, so I'm gonna have to make some tweaks and fix a few components before the teleporter is up and running again. It can wait until next month. So, what do we do now? What do you think? Prepare yourselves for mermaid spikers. 
What is it with you and mermaids? I like them, okay? It's not that weird. It is if you like them this much. Let's head back to the mansion. We're done here. Hey, Elderus. Greetings, slave. Tell me, what is this noise I hear? Is it rain? Yep, it's bucketing down there. Down out there. That's why I got this cute little umbrella. Perfect, because you're taking me outside today. I love it when it rains. Rain is a very rare event in the frack. Admittedly, we spend a lot of time underwater, so we miss most of the rainy season. They're always my favorite days of the year. Sure, we can go outside, and I got a spare umbrella for you to borrow. No need, I'll be fine. Oh yeah, you are a sea creature. I guess the water wouldn't bother you. Once Priscilla fully ascends to godhood and masters control of the elements, it'll rain every single day. You might want to buy some more umbrellas. It would give me an excuse to buy one of those cool color-changing umbrellas. I've always wanted one of those. Hmm, not a whole lot of humans walking about today. Yeah, that's the rain for you. Most people stay indoors when it's wet. Interesting. That would make rainy days ideal for invasion, then. I need to find some way to get Priscilla a weather forecast for Axon City. Hey, you said you just wanted to hang out. No invasion talk during our hangout sessions. Easy for you to say, you're not wearing a shock collar. I do like how quiet it is today. Axon City is always so busy. There's crowds of people everywhere. That's not a single place. There's not a single place anywhere in the frack that's anywhere nearly as populated as Axon City. The crowds can get a bit overwhelming at times, but you can get used to it. And Axon City isn't even that big of a city. There's only like 600,000 people living here. This world is going to take years to conquer. Australia is a lot bigger than you realize. I don't think you have a big enough army to hold more than one city at a time. There's no way you'll take over the whole country. Not unless we find a way to turn your entire civilization into monster girls. What? I said too much. Never mind. Do we get to pick? Because I want to be a centaur. No, you don't get to pick. You're, you're, you'd be a taco girl like me. That way you can live underwater and clean my house for me. Can't do that if you're a centaur. Why do you want to be a centaur anyways? I mean, sure, being able to gallop at high speeds is fun and all, but you can always just ride a centaur. Centaurs are just glorified bicycles that poop a lot. You wouldn't understand. I think I'd find being a taco girl overwhelming. Two legs is enough as is, but eight? I'd be falling over myself all day and I wouldn't be able to walk around. You'd get used to it. Swimming is very intuitive. You'd have no trouble with that, but it takes a lot of practice to walk on land with tentacles. Even pure blood taco girls take a few decades to fully master it. Decades? I was 24 when I mastered walking on land. Most girls wait until they're older, but Priscilla was going on an five-year raiding run through the aisles, and I wanted to be part of her war party. Hey, Elderus. Yes, Bri? How old are you? 39? What? I thought you were like 20. You look so young. I am young. Monster girls live for over 400 years. We don't physically age once we're fully grown. I've just looked like this since I was 18. I'm only 19. I didn't realize you were so much older than me. How old is Priscilla? 86. God damn, maybe being a taco girl wouldn't be so bad. Living till you're 400 is pretty great. I could watch so many movies. You won't have to wait too much longer. Priscilla will be here before you know it. I guess I'd get used to having tentacles. Hey Lori, pretty crazy weather today, huh? Yeah, it's bucketing down. I really regret my decision to leave an experiment running overnight at my bug out lab. If this rain doesn't stop in the next few hours, then I won't be able to get my data. And that'll be, that will seriously piss me off. I do not want to start that again. God, I feel some fucking... Like, experiments fucking take forever if you fuck up. <sighs> the rain isn't that bad. And I've got an umbrella on me. Don't be a sook. Let's just head over there now. 
There's no overhead shelter between here and the mall. It'd be impossible to get there without getting wet. Even with an umbrella, a drop of water is still bound to hit me. Oh right, your mermaid problem. Can't walk to the mall if, you, if I got no legs. Why did you give yourself mermaid powers? This is a terrible trade-off to being able to breathe underwater. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I didn't realize that a light drizzle would render me completely unable to walk anymore. Once I was taking a shortcut home through the golf course and their irrigation systems turned on at 6 on the dot and poof, suddenly I'm a mermaid. It took me over 3 hours to drag myself off that golf course. Is there some way to get rid of your mermaid powers temporarily? I do take modified transformation serums before I go into combat. I don't have any with me. There's some in the underwater lab, but nothing here. Hmm. Oh, I got an idea. We have a functioning teleporter here at the mansion, don't we? We use it to send all those monster girls to an offshore processing facility. Couldn't we reprogram it to send us to your lab instead? Oh, you're a genius, Bree. That will work. I have just got to change the coordinates on my workstation model, adjust the transporter for two people, change a few variables around. Ah, uh, I feel all weird. It's working. Bug out lab, here we come. I got a feeling you made a typo when you reprogrammed the teleporter, Lori. That's a good hypothesis. So why did my clothes disappear? I don't know. Where even are we? I think this is the trailer park on the edge of town where all those drug deals happen. So we're even further away from the mall than we were before, but I'm completely naked and you're stuck as a mermaid because it's raining. Yep. You're a terrible scientist, Lori. Ugh, you're so heavy. Why does your mermaid tail have to weigh so much? It's useful for swimming underwater. Well, it's bloody useless right now, isn't it? We could take a rest if you'd like. I'm not sure if you've forgotten, Lori, but we're completely fucking naked. We don't have time for a rest. It's raining like crazy, Bree. No one's gonna be walking around right now. The weather is miserable. I guess that is true. My arms could rest. Wait, what's that noise in the distance? Oh god, is this who I think it is? It couldn't possibly be people, could it? What sort of lunatic is walking around in the weather like this? Ah, it's those nut jobs from Whooper's Running Club. The rainstorm hasn't dissuaded them at all. They're still committed to holding their stupid weekly fun run. What is wrong with these people? Ha, that fish girl just slipped over. That's what you get for running in the rain. You're not in any position to be laughing at fish girls. Grab my hand, we need to get out of here. Fucking hell, I haven't been this tired in years. Strenuous exercise every now and then is good for you. Shut up. Someone's cranky. Gee, I wonder why. It's a good thing the mall is deserted. You've just got to go carry me down the stairs to the secret lab and we're good to go. I'm so tempted to push you. Alright, it was a bit of an ordeal, but we made it here in the end. Great, now your legs grow back. Let's have a look at this data. Huh. Something wrong? I s could've swear I, lo I left this running when I closed up last night. I must have forgotten to switch the analyzer on. Whoops. So all of this was completely pointless. Yes. You know, I never really understood how people were able to murder someone. It just always seems so barbaric to me. Like, how could you possibly go through with it? I'm beginning to see their point of view now. Please don't strangle me. You better buy me a whole lot of ice cream from the food court to make up for this. Sorry. Hey Bree. Ooh, I love the puppy dog Poncho. It's like the cutest thing I've ever seen. It was the only one they had at the shop, so I'm not a fan. Oh, you're just saying that. There's nothing wrong with liking animal ears. I bet Lori could whip up a puppy girl serum for you really easily if you asked. I can't imagine anything where it's Brie. I do not want animal ears. I think they're some of the stupidest things ever invented, and a lot of stupid things have been invented recently. Aw, I could have been super cute. What are you doing out here in the rain? I've, been, I've had a stressful day, and I do need to go for a walk. I was going crazy being cooped up inside. I thought I should stretch my legs. 
Mind if I walk with you? Of course not. Hey, Evie. Yeah? What are you going to do about that giant interdimensional portal sitting in your backyard? Once you're off probation and get your house back, won't you have to do something about it? Oh, I'm not worried about that at all. What if some sort of monster pops out while you're sleeping and eats you? The frack is behind your security fence. The horrifying nightmare creatures could come at any moment. For one thing, the only horrifying nightmare creature to come from the frack is J-Bubs, and he likes me because I feed him snacks sometimes. I knew he was looking pudgier than usual. 99% of the things we fight in the frack are sexy monster girls, and having sexy girls randomly show up at my house isn't exactly a bad situation to be in. They're always trying to kill us, though. That cancels out the sexiness. I will build a second fence around the mansion, but I don't think it's necessary. We all know we're going to win this war, and once the dust settles, there's a ton of money to be made here. Fracks are difficult to create, and I'll have complete control over one of the only reliable pathways between dimensions. I ba I've basically been handed the new Suez Canal on a platter. I'm gonna have more money than you could possibly comprehend, Bree. Wow, charging people to use a frack is a much easier way to make money than building a floating nightclub super hotel. The hotel was fun, but I never thought it would be profitable. I was just bored and figured it'd be an easy way to get a quick insurance payout. You know, you could use some of that money you got from that payout to buy equipment for the team. I'm kind of the only one doing it. Sorry, did you say something? I couldn't hear you over the rain. I said, give me some goddamn money. <laughs> I can't hear you. Anyways, I gotta go now. It was nice locking with you. Bye, Bri. <laughs> Wait a minute. Lori, are you trying to poison us? What? Why would I do that? Why do half of the milk carton say Police Mermaid Squad and the other say Lori's Legends? Did you put something in our milk? As if I had stooped to such low tactics. Holly can't drink full cream milk because of cat ears and Max and Ember prefer skim milk. It made sense to separate them because the labels look similar. Don't give me that. This is highly suspicious and you know it. I know you want to win this Mermaid Spikers tournament pretty badly, but this is taking things too far. Please, I don't need to poison you to win. I've already got troves of data on all your movesets after analyzing you in combat all this time. This match is going to be an easy win. Analyzing our combat data? That's just as bad as poisoning our milk, cheater. It's not cheating, it's called researching your competition. Now stop complaining and drink your poison milk. It's not actually poisoned, is it? Lori? Maybe I should drink the one labeled Lori's Legends instead. <laughs> Unless that's what she wanted me to do all along. Damn you, Lori. Evie, over here. Bree, what are you doing here? I was bored of Axon City, so I figured I'd come out to Bogo Wogo Bush Reserve and see what was happening. Didn't expect to see you out here. I heard Pandara invested heavily into the construction of Tokugawa Town, which means there's money to be made in the holiday towns. It's not a business model I'm particularly familiar with, so I'm here to gather some information. Thinking of opening your own holiday village? Maybe one set during the era of pirates? I'm thinking of opening a holiday resort in the frack, actually. Once we taken care of the war, there's a very high chance that Priscilla will be forced to surrender land to the government. I've already had my team start work on putting together a proposal, but the more information I can gather on the industry beforehand, the better the case I can make. Would you like to escort me while I have a look around? Sure. Hmm. The shops don't accept cars, but there's plenty of ATMs around. The days of charging ridiculous fees to withdraw money might be gone, but cash in hand is always nice. Don't have to report it. There's a lot of hippies in Boga Woga too. This would be a handy way to launder money from the drug trade. <laughs> Evelyn, are you here to learn how a holiday park operates, or are you just trying to find ways to illegally make money by using them as a front? Bit of both. Evelyn, you're just gonna get in trouble again. Oh, don't worry about me. I'd never commit the same crime twice. I'm not an idiot. But I am pretty sure something dodgy is going on here. There's no way they're making money. That is a fair point. There's not any rides or anything. I, ke I come here to buy new equipment, but once you've seen everything, there's not a whole lot of reason to keep coming here. 
it could definitely use some roller coasters. Every good theme park should have one. What sort of theme are you thinking of picking for your resort? I'm thinking something gothic to match up with my witch powers, then I wouldn't have to get changed for work every morning. I could just ha use my magical skills to summon my outfit out of thin air. Maybe you could build it indoors, it'd be cheaper to maintain rides if you don't have to worry about the weather. There's an idea. Once the invasion is over and I start getting the ball rolling on the project, I'll bring you in for a few consultation sessions. You got an eye for business, Bree. Any chance I could be a business partner again? No. Aw. Damn. Hey Bree, you got a minute? There's somewhere I want to take you. Are we bringing Holly along? No Holly, it'll just be the two of us this time. Oh? Let's get going. Looks like we made it just in time. What are we here for? Take a look at the ocean. Oh, there's a whole heap of dolphins swimming over there. Those aren't dolphins. Look again, babe. Um, are they porpoises? Because they are pretty much the same thing, Ember. Think again. Whoa, that one just shot a whole heap of water into the air from its back. They're not dolphins or porpoises, they're whales. Yep, and they're real whales too, not mermaid spiker players that have taken the sport way too seriously. They mentioned on the news that they were going to be migrating north this week, and I wanted to check it out at least once before they left. I did think about swimming out there in mermaid form, but I didn't want to disturb them. I figured that was for the best. Yeah, and if there's any killer whales in that pod, then they'll probably try to eat us. They eat seals all the time. Cute little mermaids aren't that big of a stretch. Those aren't killer whales. Look at them, Brie. They're big, baleen ones. Killer whales don't swim with them. They hunt in their own pods. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. There could still be sharks, though. We're much better off up here. This is really pretty to watch, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. If I wasn't already in a relationship, this would be the perfect opportunity to ask Ember out. Oh well, this is still really nice. Ready to head back? Hey Brie. Not overdoing it much? What's with all the winter wear? I'm a fire elemental, and I feel the cold more than others. It's not even that cold, it's just raining a bit. Axon City is on the coast, it never gets cold here. I know, and it's normally not this bad, but I'm running low on firewood. Once I stocked up, I should be fine. Firewood? How else do you think I keep warm? My body is literally made of fire. I have to feed it fuel to survive. So if you run out of things to burn, you die? No, I just lose a lot of my powers and get really groggy, but normally it's not too hard to manage. A single log of wood can last me a good 8 hours. I sort of absorb it into my body and combust it instantly, and I get a slow release of energy throughout the day. It's not really any different to eating or drinking, it's just another thing I need to keep track of. You're made of living fire, right? So theoretically, could you continue to consume fuel until you became ridiculously large, say by burning down the whole city? Oh, there's a thought. I bet I could find a way to do all of that legally, too. The fire department does strategic burns all the time. I'll worry about becoming an all-powerful giant fire goddess later. Let's go find some firewood. I wish I could turn into a giant elemental colossus. Although, I guess if it was me, I'd turn into some giant sandwich thing. <laughs> That's not sexy or fun, it's just weird. Oi, Jay. You said you'd be here. Open up. Who are you meeting here, exactly? You know Jay, that super ripped guy who helps organize the jogging club? He chops firewood on the weekends, that's why he's so ripped. I buy it off of him in bulk. Doesn't look like he's home, though. There's a whole bunch of wood piled up around back. Let's just take some and pay him back the next time you see him. Bree, I'm still a police officer. I can't just go around taking things from people's houses. It sets a terrible example. Why wouldn't he be home? The weather is miserable. He said he should be bundled up at home with the heater on right now. Maybe he went out? Oi, I know. He's dating Abigail, the fish girl. Rainy weather doesn't bother her. She's a sea creature. Oh, that girl? Is she a monster girl from the frack? Or did she get animal ears at the clinic like Holly and decide to go with fish for some reason? 
It's such a weird choice. I think I know where she might be. Follow me. See anyone? I know Abigail is a fish girl and everything, but what sort of lunatic goes running on a torrential rainstorm? Wait, oh, yeah, there they are, to your left. What the hell is wrong with people? It's just jogging, you're allowed to take a day off. If you run in weather like this, you're gonna fall over and break your head open. I know, right? Although I suppose most people don't have magically resetting bodies like us. They have to keep exercising to stay healthy. Even so, this is just ridiculous. Boy, Jay. I need to buy some firewood. I don't think he can hear you. It's raining pretty hard. There's got to be a way to get his attention. If I step out in the rain like this, I'd ri I'd run the risk of literally dying by being extinguished. You could borrow my umbrella. It's driving rain. I'll get wet regardless. Hmm. I'm gonna have to walk out in the middle of the park by myself, aren't I? Yes. Yay. <laughs> Jay, hello? Um, do you mean me? Jay, why does this pink-haired girl know your name? I don't know, don't look at me. Is this another drug drop? I don't do that anymore, I told you I'm good now. I'm not here for drugs, I just need some firewood for my friend Ember. Alright, I got your message this morning. What are you doing here? I don't carry firewood with me when I'm jogging. You weren't home. So, why don't you just take some wood from behind my place and pay me back the next time you see me? That's what I said, but no, Ember is a police officer who makes her friends run around in the rain. I have the money, here. Thanks, take as much as you like, I've got heaps. Bye, strange pink hair girl, don't talk to my boyfriend again. You can still say hi, it's okay. No, it isn't, bye. <laughs> Bloody joggers. How'd you go? He took the money. He said to just take as much as you need. Wow, you really- you are completely and utterly drenched. Come stand here, I'll warm you up. I really should have stayed inside today. Hey, Luna, nice poncho. Oh, laugh all you want at my poncho. I'm far more protected from the rain than you are. Ponchos might be ugly, but they're the best way to stay dry in the rain. Your poncho isn't ugly, it's got cute little cat ears. The cat ear ponchos cost $3 more, but it's worth it. Why the umbrella as well? Is, isn't that overkill? There could be a downpour at any moment. You know how unreliable the weather channel is. They're always getting things wrong. It never hurts to be prepared. Uh-huh. So what are you doing out in the rain exactly? Just going for a walk. I get restless when it rains like this. If I don't exercise at least a little bit, I can't get to sleep at night. Plus, in the event Priscilla takes over the city and she doesn't have us executed for opposing her, she'll probably use her god powers to make it rain a lot. Elderus does seem happier when it rains, so maybe I should get used to this too, just in case we don't win this climactic final battle. Want to walk with me? Sure. Figured out your plans for next year? Are you still going to enroll in uni? I'm actually not so sure anymore. I was thinking about studying teaching, but it's really hard to get solid work, and I don't think the pay rate is that great. But I'm honestly li really liking it at the MRU, and I keep a surprisingly calm head in battle. I might be more cut out for this field of work than I initially gave myself credit for. I think I might just stick to being a magical girl. There's always going to be wars to fight in, and I got a lot of experience now. Just don't join the military. You'd hate it. Hell yes I would. Could you imagine me wearing compact fatigues? Lori is bad enough as is. I don't want to crawl through mud and get yelled at every day. I'm an accomplished magical girl and I will be fighting on my own terms, thank you very much. I guess that's not a bad plan. I'm still gonna start uni. Mom says I need a backup plan in place because magical girls isn't exactly an established career path. I still plan on working at the MRU part-time though. I'm going to Axon University, so I won't have to move out or anything. You'll still see me around. Good. I need my partner in battle. Are you talking about me or J-Bubs? You, of course. J-Bubs is only my pet. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean it like that, buddy. I love you, too. Come back. I'm sorry. I've been <laughs> replaced by an ex waddle <laughs> Hey, where is everyone going? You're not going anywhere, cutie, but we are. 
Our big match is next week, so PMS is going to get some practice in. I'll feel bad about knocking you out of the competition so early, but that's life for ya. See you around, Bree. Why is everyone taking mermaid spikers so seriously? It's just a silly sport. You take that back. Sorry, Lori. If the police girls are practicing, shouldn't we be too? I mean, sure, we already had that practice match with them last month, but that was just for fun. Don't worry, I got an extensive training regiment planned, but we can't start today. The pool is booked up till the end of the week. I think the little Camille friend of yours is trying to sabotage us. The Axon City Country Club has booked a whole heap of sessions well in advance, and it's almost impossible to get a look in. That doesn't surprise me. I might have to look into making alternative arrangements. Hmm. Alright girls, get your swimmers on. We got a mermaid strikers training. Oh, do you now? Not you, Holly. Go away. Uh, what do you think you're doing, Lori? We got the pool booked all week. What a shame. Whatever will we do? There's no other pools in Axon City big enough for mermaid spikers training. I'm afraid you're out of luck, Lori. Oh, am I now? Lori, are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah, I've been told my whole life never to swim at dusk. I don't want to be eaten by a shark. No one's going to be eaten by a shark. We're above them in the food train. Chain. Sharks don't attack other apex predators. They don't know that. We just look like giant fish to them. You've got all ma you, you all got magic powers. If a shark does show up, which they won't, then just whack them with your tail or use your lunar blast or whatever. We're not in any danger. Try not to spill any blood though, just in case. This is a terrible idea. You can say that again. Nice pass, Bree. Give me a second to get into position. We need to practice some long shots. Got it, Lori. Man, I really don't like it out here at night. It's so spooky. Wait, is that a fin? It's a shark. Boo. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't resist. Don't scare me like that, Tilly. It's not funny. Yeah, it is. Jerk. What's with the shark tail? If you're going to be half fish, why would you settle for something boring? Sharks are cool. Well, I do know some sexy shark people. Why are you girls training out here? Shouldn't you be at the pool? I'd like to be at the pool, but your bitch of a team leader, Camille, rigged it so we couldn't get a booking at the ACYC. Now we're stuck out here in the middle of the night. Ah, uh, well, at least you don't have to worry about sharks eating you with those shark nets they put in. Oh, thank god. They're shark nets? I never knew that when we started swimming. Jellyfish still get through, though, so be careful. Tiffany swam through into a blue bottle once, and its stingers got all wrapped in her scales. It was bad. Damn, it must have hurt like crazy. I wish it happened to Camille, but Tiffany will do, I guess. We all ran out screaming for a while, and Tiffany was crying her eyes out, but the lifeguard pointed out Remolators you set your morphic field so it heals your wounds. Tiffany just shifted back to human form and the welts were gone. Which is a good thing because none of us wanted to pee on her. Isn't that just a myth? Does pee actually work? I don't know, and I'm in no hurry to find out. So what are you doing out here, Tilly? You just, like, going for midnight swims as a shark person? I believe the term is shark maid, and yeah, I'm here for my nightly swim. The lights at the boardwalk are still on for an another hour so I can see where I'm going. Speaking of which, I better get back to it. I'll catch you round, Bree. Later, Tilly. God damn it, Bree, hurry up and throw the ball back. I've been floating around for an idiot for five minutes now. Holy shit, is that a shark? Everyone run, but run! <laughs> Not gonna say no to going home early. Thanks, Tilly.